Have you guys ever had someone tell you or ask you the question, you should know better, why didn't you know better? I, I certainly have had that experience more than once. Yeah, I 100% have as well. Really what people are asking or telling you in this situation is that while well, you should have the wisdom or the knowledge from somewhere else, you should have gained that knowledge or information from someone of the past, maybe some scenario that you were once in, maybe you're just of an age where you should already know how to do the thing that you accidentally did wrong. Mm. Usually you've supposedly gained this knowledge from an earlier time or it's an expectation of somebody else and it's a weird situation to be caught in. Yeah, and it may be suggesting that you should have this knowledge to make the, a different decision. Sure, yeah. you may have not been in this exact uh, scenario before, yeah. but the difference between calling your parents because you will be home late after yeah. school, or you know, telling your parents that the pickup spot has changed because you switched houses as you were hanging out with your friends, yeah. isn't all that different. They are two different scenarios and situations, but the you same. Know, the same. Wisdom would tell us that, well, we should probably tell our parents regardless when plans change. Yeah, wisdom would definitely say that. Yeah. It would say that we know our parents worry about us regardless Boy. of the situation, regardless of the scenario. They want us to be safe. Yeah. And if there's a possibility of it looking like I'm hurt or lost, yeah. then I should tell them about the change in plans so that they won't worry. Yeah, that would be wisdom in that scenario or those types of scenarios. Yeah. And while we're on this subject, sorry, mom. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it really does seem so simple. And then it just isn't always applied in the way that we would want it to be. This is the third episode in the relationship series. And we're so glad that you can join us. My name is John. This is Brayden. It is. Uh, and today we are talking specifically about wisdom, meaning when we learn from the relationships around us, people that are older or people that are younger. And so we're asking the question, and it's the title of this episode. Yeah. What is wisdom? And if you guys know the answer to that, if you could just send us the answer and uh, <laughs> that would be really helpful because we're at our ages. Hey, still... something really wise for you to do <laughs> would be to subscribe wherever Ooh. you listen to this podcast. You could even get it on email, uh, YouTube, uh, any podcast player, and you can get the leader guide at BibleStoryPodcast.com. Super wise advice there. Yeah, that was a great segue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to say we're going to get text messages from both our moms saying you seem to know what wisdom is yet. Still didn't practice it very well. Yes. Come <laughs> learn from me, son. Yeah. Okay, so today we are reading from 1 Peter 5, verses 1 to 11. So it's kind of a lengthy uh, chunk of scripture. Now would be a really good time to pause and read that over maybe once or twice to understand what's going on. Now this scripture gives us a good understanding of how to relate to those around us. Mm. Learning from others and being good role models ourselves. Yeah, the journey or walk with Christ is a lifelong thing. We actually never get to the end point here on earth. We don't cross a finish line. We don't get to stamp it with the perfect stamp and say like, woohoo, well, I'm, I'm done now. Um, but that's what keeps us growing and learning no matter what age we're at, which is really kind of a cool thing. We get to learn from people who have walked before us, who, who know more than us, who maybe have just lived different life than us. And we get to look at them and say, I want to know God the way that they know God. And that's, well, what community is all about. I have a confession. Oh. The Bible, it can often feel for me, like mm -hmm. a bunch of rules that I need to follow. Right. Things I should do, things I shouldn't do. It just, sometimes it can be a bit of a downer because I like to go my own way. Right. I like to be my own person. Yeah. And the Bible, well, it puts me, feels like at times it puts me in this box. Yeah. And I think... I appreciate the confession, uh, although I don't know if it's much of a confession because I think actually a lot of us feel that way. Could be. The Bible does have 
some really specific rules in it. But it is also, I think often when it gives us those rules, is talking so much about the heart of the people that are following mm. the rule or the heart of the people that are hoping to glorify and honor God in that. And, and I have to say that yeah. that's us. That is. That's, that's you as, as a follower of Jesus. That's Braden and I. Mm -hmm. We are all trying to have a heart that is more closely aligned with God. The Bible is a book of wisdom. And we get to learn from the, the stories, the teachings within Scripture. Mm -hmm. And, and they, are, they are held within this context of our own lives. They apply to our own lives. And we can take these principles that they teach mm -hmm. and say, this is how I need to live my life, which is wisdom. Yeah. Sure, you might not be getting onto an ark anytime soon or, you know, crossing the Red Sea or fighting a lion or mm. burning a bush. But, it, but the, the application or the, the things that we learn by reading these stories is the wisdom that we apply to the scenarios of school or home. Okay, so in my life, I have found learning from people probably one of the most joyful things I get to do. I love when people impart wisdom or a story on me. I get really excited when you ask someone a question and they kind of take that pause and they say, okay, so, you know, they, they preface the sentence with that and they take a big deep breath in. That usually indicates that they have a lot of things to say and they are excited to share those with me. I can feel myself as that sentence starts that I'm, I'm kind of, building in excitement, I, that they're going to, to give me nuggets of wisdom and probably teach me something that they're passionate about or that really has interest to them. So think of it. We all have these things. We all have, you know, whether it's sports or cars or art or cooking or fashion or building or tearing down or movies or stamp collecting. Maybe not stamp collecting. I don't think really people do that anymore um, but it's this idea that there's things that we're passionate about and we would love to talk about them so we all have these things it's fun for us to be able to share them they're they're really exciting and and we get a lot of joy out of it mine is coffee and john what's yours i love sports john loves sports and i do my best to relate to him on any given day <laughs> but it's fun. I get to ask him a lot of questions like, what's a touchdown in hockey and see his reaction. Oh my <laughs> so that's an example of knowledge, uh, something we hold within ourselves that's, you know, that we've learned that is interesting to us, um, that we can pass on. Okay, so wisdom allows me to think back to these conversations of people that I've learned from, and especially when I'm in a bind, to then learn more from them. Really, it's calling them up and saying, hey, I need your help. And I know that you have a weird amount of knowledge on hockey, ice, hockey, or whatever John talks about all the time. Um, so it's, for instance, is my goldfish sick? Well, I know which friend to call. Is my car making a really funny noise? I know which friend to call. Have I burned the toast and the coffee and the eggs every morning this week? I know who can help me with that. And I know who really likes to cook. Am I trying to think through a really big life problem? Well, I know who to call. That's also usually John, not just the sports stuff. But it's this idea that we get to step into this everyday application of our knowledge. That's what wisdom is. It's the everyday practice of the things that we have learned. It's applying them to situations that, you know, maybe we have never been in before, but that make sense. There's a number of mentors and friends that I have that I still call when I'm reading through the Bible. Or I'll send them an email if something doesn't make sense to me. I call them, I text them, I talk to them because I want to make sure that the life that I am living when I'm trying to honor Jesus is directed at him, that it's glorifying him, that I'm not getting confused by the context of the Bible, I'm not losing myself in all of the words but that I'm actually able to understand and apply the wisdom that is in the scripture. Wisdom helps myself, it helps all of us grow continually in our relationship with God each and every single day. So wisdom is, is both learned 
and taught, which means we're constantly in the middle of this scenario of, of teaching and learning yeah. and being on both sides of that equation. Yeah, sometimes that's just how life is. We're kind of in the middle of it and we get to learn and grow from lots of different directions. Now, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 says this, In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Okay, so that is not an easy way to live. That is my confession for the day. I was often kind of labeled or even held proudly this rebellious badge mm. of honor most of the time, I thought. I, I liked to kind of figure things out on my own and, and, you know, build kind of my own knowledge or wisdom based. And that's not the best way to do it. I would often get really frustrated if someone was trying to teach me something and I wasn't getting it right away. Maybe if they just weren't teaching it in a way that made sense to me or maybe that, you know, just wasn't my learning style. But it doesn't mean that these people that we're trying to learn from don't have really good information to pass on to us. It doesn't mean that they don't have some amazing wisdom and, and life skill and valuable knowledge that we could gain from. Our lives, our relationships with God could be richer if we just took the time to humble ourselves and say, okay, I'm here to learn. I'm here to listen, regardless of, of what that is. You know, my own ego is often the thing that will get in the way of that. The pride of, you know, figuring it out on my own, being fiercely independent, but those aren't the things that lead me to learning the most. I have never learned more from myself than I have from other people. I will always have a better learning experience if I bring someone else into that scenario, someone else who knows more than I do. Growth Tip Time a growth tip is a way for each of us to grow in a relationship with Jesus. Now, yes. Braden, can you think of a time when you were surprised? Not, not just you, but all of us. Yes. Can you think of a time when you were surprised by what another person taught you? Mm. Maybe it's a skill that you didn't know they had or like a hobby that, you know, uh, a, a big burly biker man, you know, likes to to sew his own clothes. Something that just doesn't, like, you would have had no idea. John likes to cook, and I like that about him. He teaches me lots. I enjoy eating my cooking most of the time. <laughs> yeah, perhaps maybe you've just even learned from watching. So this week, our growth tip is this. We would like you to learn from someone you may not usually learn from. Hmm. And here's the fun part. Ask them what they would like to teach you. Oh, cool. I think it could be a lot of fun. Yeah, it can be anything. Just have fun with it. Have them teach you something that you would have never thought you had to learn. Just enjoy the process, step in, even if it's not your thing. If someone wants to teach you how to make a sandwich or how to plant a garden, just enjoy the process. So 1 Peter 5 reminds us that we are all teachers mm -hmm. and that we are to submit ourselves so that we can learn from others. We are to not be proud in our knowledge, and but humble in the things that we've learned, the wisdom that we have gained. Yeah, wisdom is something that is constantly applied to our everyday life, to most situations, and specifically to our walk with Jesus. Now, even though the Bible doesn't specifically describe maybe your school life, or your work life, or your home life, mm -hmm. it does it does speak to the heart of those places. Yeah, we can grow in our wisdom by applying the teachings of the Bible to our everyday life. Having a mentor or a, a teacher, someone that we can lean on and grow from really can help this process. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, this is all about relationships. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can Google a lot of things, <laughs> but you will never gain the wisdom that you want to gain mm -hmm. without being in relationship with others. Yeah. We are made to do this 
together, mm -hmm. not alone. Hey, we've got some discussion questions for you to discuss with your friends and your family, and we hope that they will help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. Question one. What is something you have been trying to learn from God recently? Hit pause and discuss. Question number two is, have you ever had a formalized mentor? Meaning, have you like actually asked them, hey, could you mentor me? Can we meet once a week, once a month, whatever it is? If you have, share your experience. What did you learn? What was challenging? What did you like about it? Hit pause and share. Question three, if you could have Jesus directly teach you one thing, what would it be? Hit pause and share. Friends, we are just so honored and privileged to be able to grow alongside you each week. Yeah, know that this podcast doesn't just encourage you, but it encourages us as well. So thank you for encouraging us and thank you for listening with your friends and your family. Hey, if there's others who need to know Jesus, who need to grow in a relationship with him, please consider sharing this, uh, this podcast with them. Yeah, remember there is nothing more important than a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Have a great week.